Good afternoon. It's snowing here today and it's sunshine. Today, Wednesday, and Jesus is teaching at the temple. By the way, if you stuck with me this far, I appreciate it. This is going to be a shorter video. It's going to be an important video. They all are. The life of Christ is obviously the most important thing that we can focus on in our lives. So Jesus is at the temple teaching again. He's teaching at the temple during the day and he's spending the night at Mount Olivet. The chief priests and elders are plotting to kill Jesus. They're trying to come up with some way of catching him and we covered some of that yesterday. But now they're really moving into high alert. They're really trying to figure out a way of plotting against Jesus to kill him. And like I said, Jerusalem is overflowing with people from out of town for the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We're not going to get into what the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the Passover is, but just remember it's tied back with their exodus from Egypt, the the freedom that they got from Egypt that God provided. Um, and the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread is what they do to remember their freedom. And the Passover is to remember that God passed over the nation of Israel with the last plague. And the last plague obviously was the firstborn of every household is going to die. So. Egypt had a loud cry that night because the firstborn of every household was killed by the uh, angel of death. But for Israel, because of the Passover, the angel of death passed over their house and spared their firstborn. So they're remembering the departure from Egypt and they're remembering the Passover. And Jesus says to his disciples, two of his disciples, namely Peter and John, he says, Go into this certain city, and there's a certain man there, and the man is carrying a water jug. Follow that man, and wherever he goes in, you go in and you ask the owner of that house. They follow this man, they go into the house, and they say, The Lord wants us to prepare the, the Passover in your upper room. So they go into the upper room, and the upper room would have been kind of like an inn for travelers so that they had a place to do the Passover in. The teacher says, my time is near and we are to keep the Passover at your house. And so the owner says, okay. My old pastor, Pastor Mike Golay, he, he did a Seder meal and he explained a lot of the stuff for the Passover. It was really quite fascinating. It's hard for us as Christians to really realize how much work goes into the Passover meal. So keep in mind that the Jewish day starts at sundown and goes until the next sundown. Not like our days. We think that our day starts when the sun comes up. For them, their day starts when the sun goes down. So Peter and John, they go into the city to prepare and it's Wednesday, the Passover is Friday, so they have all day Thursday to prepare for the Passover meal. So that's pretty much it for today. I don't have a lot to say on it. So this kind of makes up for yesterday's video that was quite long. So on that note, tomorrow is what's called Maundy Thursday. Today is what we call Ash Wednesday. Tomorrow will be a shorter video as well, but I don't want you to miss Friday because Friday, Friday's going to be a longer video, but that's good Friday. I'm going to walk you through the last day as Jesus was being put to, to death, including the trial, the mock trial, the words that Jesus used, the responses. Friday's going to be a big day. I hope that you take some time, slot it open, and spend some time watching that video. If you don't watch the video, I hope you sit down with your Bible and do some reading. So on that note, 
I'm out here in the woods and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Let me show you around our little swamp here and then I'll let you go. This is our swamp. If you walk out that direction, you're gonna get wet. If you walk that direction, you're gonna get wet. If you walk that direction, you're gonna get wet. But if you walk that direction, you'll stay dry. That's the way I'm going. Anyway guys, We'll see you tomorrow.